I'm over here looking at my previous upload, right? And I'm trying to figure out why nobody even told me I did not introduce myself in my previous upload. By the way, I'm uh, moisturizing my skin with my Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel. And I'm just getting ready, getting my skin prepped for this week's upload. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here once again. And unlike my previous upload where I did not introduce myself, let me just take this time out to say my name is Donella. So on this channel, I do a lot of makeup tutorials, but every now and then, depending on how much the product is actually requested, Said I would do um, a makeup review and I got a lot like a lot of requests to do um, a review on the new Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation sorry let, let me let me just say that one more time it's the Maybelline Superstay full coverage 24 hour foundation yeah we got to get the name right that's the name of it it's a very long name I don't know why they want to give these, these products this really long name but but this is her name so I finally hopped online and I purchased two shades from the Superstay line, one being coconut and the other being warm coconut. And um, I purchased these two because I know um, the, my two other um, Maybelline foundations from the Fit Me line, I use coconut and mocha. And there are days when I feel like the coconut is a little bit too yellow. And then there are days when I feel like the mocha is really, really too dark. As a matter of fact, I think there's a lot of redness in the mocha. But um, I've always said this, and um, I'm gonna say it again. From the Fit Me line, I always feel like there should have been a shade between coconut and mocha. So I don't know that I don't know if that's what Maybelline was doing when they created the Superstay line, where they actually created coconut and warm coconut. Because from what I've seen, from the swatches I've seen from um, previous uh, reviews and demos, it seems like the coconut runs more so on the reddish side, and the warm coconut has more yellow in it. So I'm just going to actually do my own swatches and see which one matches my shade perfectly or at least close enough. Now before I head into this demo, there's something that I like to do, which is hop onto the brand's website and read what the claims are for whatever particular product I'm about to review, demo, try, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So what it says here on Maybelline's website, the Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage Foundation delivers 24 hour wear for a concentrated coverage and a flawless finish that does not fade or shift all day. Let me just digest that for a minute. Now, um, those are some really high claims, especially for um, a drugstore brand. However, I do want to actually give Maybelline the benefit of the doubt here because for me personally, after trying the Fit Me line, I feel like they've really, really been doing a lot of work when it comes to complexion products. Um, especially when it comes to the finish and the undertones. Now, we all know most um, drugstore brands run really, really yellow or really, really um, red. So sometimes it's really a hit, a hit or miss. But for me personally, I like to give Maybelline the benefit of the doubt. Um, especially after trying, as I said before, after trying their Fit Me line, I feel like they've really, really been doing a lot of work um, in terms of the undertones. So I'm not going to... I don't really feel here or there about that particular claim. I'm just going to demo it. I'm just going to try it and see if it actually lasts all day. Or at least until I'm ready to take it off. Okay, so let me just do my swatch right here. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Okay, first initial thought. I'm actually really glad that this has a pump versus the usual wide, screwed off top that we know most drugstore brand uh, use for their foundations. You know, when you have to be doing like this, and you have to be scraping it up, they call too much come out. I'm actually really glad that Maybelline has kind of shifted to the pump thing because I love doing a, a one two pump instead of having to do in the scraping up thing saying, Oh my god, I threw too much out. Yeah, so th this is this is really impressive for me. So this one is warm coconut. I'm just I'm, I'm trying to get just a bit out to do a swatch. So this is warm coconut. I'm gonna do a swatch right here. Ooh. To see that, see if it melts into my skin. And she does. Where's my mirror? <laughs> like I can't see anything. 
Okay, here we go. And that's warm coconut, actually melted straight into my skin, which means that coconut might be a little bit, ooh, let me not mix them up. This is coconut. Which means that coconut might be a little bit on the red side, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it and see, okay, this is coconut. Warm coconut and coconut. So let's just see how, I don't know, but to me they kind of look alike, I don't know. Maybe one oxidized. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on camera, but they look exactly alike. I don't know. This is coconut up here, and this is warm coconut. I don't know. But let's see. Let's swatch coconut over here. Since we have warm coconut over there, I need my mirror once again. There's one directly in front of me, but I feel like I can't see. So let me see how that looks. Wow, <laughs> never in my life have I tried two foundations that are supposed to be two completely different shades and they both match me to the teeth. Okay, Maybelline, okay. But looking at it, looking at it directly here from the pumps that I put on my hand, the warm coconut actually looks a lot more yellow than the coconut. But for some reason, they both match me perfectly. So guess what? I have two foundations that I can use on whatever day. I can just grab any one of them. So let me just deal with these little things up here and then we're gonna get straight into the demo of the Back foundation with my eyebrows done and I'm still checking my chest area just to see if one of those two foundations would oxidize but for some reason they both still look amazing like never in my life have I seen anything like this two foundations that um, are supposed to be one is supposed to be like a shade up from the other and they both match me perfectly so I don't know I have no idea. I just know that I'm really, really impressed with the situation that's going on here that I know is about to go on on my face. By the way, um, Maybelline actually has, uh, oh, let me put you back in. <laughs> Maybelline actually has a, a face studio sponge and I think I want to try it with the with the super safe foundation It looks like this which means that this pointed area is supposed to actually get under the eyes So I'm going to wet it because it's still it's not wet yet I'm going to I'm going to wet it and see if it actually works if not y'all know I love my beauty blender So I'm just going to switch back over to, to my beauty blender if this does not work So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my wet uh, Maybelline face studio sponge and guess what since both of these foundations match me perfectly I'm just gonna grab any one <laughs> And just go in for the kill and I'm going to be using one two pumps Just to see if that's going to give me the full coverage that this foundation claims and I'm going to be using this uh, pointed side uh, see how she works. It actually feels kind of like the the um the beauty blender. It's just a little bit more dense. So I'm going to pack it on. Ooh, the only thing I don't like is the scent of this. This actually smells like rubber. Ugh, I don't like the scent. But it seems to be doing a really good job. So Let's see. Ooh, this is definitely a full coverage foundation. I'm going to actually switch it around to the butt of the of the sponge just to blend this in a bit more. This is a full coverage foundation, so I think I actually went in a little bit too heavy, but <laughs> Um, this is exactly why I don't, I'm not a big fan of full coverage foundation because I'm so used to my light to medium coverage that I always, always make the mistake of going in too heavy at once. But, um, so this two pump, this two pumps of foundation actually might be too much. I actually love the, the consistency of it. It's not like the Fit Me line. Um, y'all know how the Fit Me line is. They Fit Me, um foundations are like as soon as you as you throw it on the back of your hand it immediately starts running but this is actually staying in place and I guess because it's a full coverage foundation so I actually expect it to do that so I'm just going to go in 
real quick with this because when anything says full coverage they tend to dry down really really quick and I don't want a mess to happen on my face so let me just blend this out real quick I think I've covered all the bases and like I said before I knew there would have been some left over oh, oh my gosh I'm so not used to full coverage foundations that I always just go in thinking that it's light to medium coverage however I do actually like the coverage of this um, uh, the, the sponge is much denser than my usual beauty blender but I think she actually did a pretty good job you know so I might try her out a few more times but from my first initial impression this is definitely a full coverage foundation and I can see that it's drying down to a matte finish by the way guys if I forgot to mention earlier I am wearing the Maybelline master prime face studio primer base and I'm assuming this probably falls in line with the same face studio line as the uh, face what is this called the face sponge and this is a lot more denser than my actual my usual um, beauty blender however I do feel like if I use her over time that I might have her or use her as a plan B you know on days when I can't find my beauty blender there are days when I really can't find my beauty blender she don't hide from me sometimes so I would have to switch up and use like a foundation brush I have like three of her but all three of them decide on some days to hide from me so you never know maybe my Maybelline might be a little bit more faithful to me and show up on days when I want her to show up just so you know but um from, from my first initial thought just looking at the foundation in the natural daylight because I dimmed my ring light all the way down because I really wanted to see what the foundation look in more natural lighting versus the manipulation of using you know like inside lighting and all that so my first initial thought is that I really really do love this foundation although I'm not a big fan of full coverage foundations the the finish the actual finish of it looks amazing, which is um, not really what I expected, especially from a, um, a drugstore brand. I think it looks really, really good, but I do have oily skin. So the 24 hour full coverage and no fading and no shifting all day is what I'm actually going to be putting to the test because y'all know I have oily skin and this is, a, this is a serious lie detector test. So what I'm going to do now is finish the rest of my face and then um, I'll be right back in a quick flash. All right, so here is the completed look, and um, I don't really have anything to do today. But guess what? Because I'm actually um, doing a weird test. By the way, I try not to put too many things over the foundation because I wanted its natural beauty to actually shine through and to see how much she would actually hold up, you know, against sweat humidity and my kind of non-active day that I am about to make active because I'm really really going to put this foundation to the test so I'll check back in later with you guys uh, later this evening okay so I am back finally back in front of the camera and it is exactly uh, 852 858 p.m. and I forgot to mention this earlier but um, I, I finished my makeup somewhere between like 10 30 11 o'clock this morning so let's say I've been wearing my makeup for roughly somewhere between um, 9 to 10 hours and I have to say right let me pull back my Erica Badu I have to say right number one I did expect sweat to break through because I have oily skin so that is expected makeup is not magic some people think makeup is magic it's not magic as a matter of fact I keep telling people this sweating is actually healthy it, it lets you know that your pores are not clogged up so if you sweat through your makeup it's it's perfectly fine it just lets you know that your skin is healthy no problem um, secondly one of the things I was expecting was that uh, my smile lines would break through because I do tend to laugh and talk and pack back a lot <laughs> so my smile lines always make an appearance whenever I'm wearing a certain type of foundation it just depends not all of my foundations actually allows my um, smile lines to break through and this was definitely one of this was definitely one of those foundations that didn't allow them to break through you know it's a full coverage foundation so for me whenever I think about full coverage uh, foundation I actually expect them to crack and crease in areas well in this area on my face because you know 
everybody's skin is different. So while some persons may crack and crease in certain areas, some persons don't. I definitely crease in this area a lot. So I was expecting that. But for some reason, she definitely held up to her claims of not shifting all day. And this is what she looks like after rearing her for um, 9 to 10 hours. I have a bit of dewiness going on because I have oily skin. But I did, I did actually expect some creasing to go on. But... Um, well, she did not disappoint. Okay, so let me just give my final thoughts um, on the Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now, one of the very first things that I was impressed with was the fact that it had a pump. I absolutely love foundations that have pumps. Now, we all know that drugstore brands tend to have that big opening where you have to throw it on the back of your hand and then sometimes things just get kind of messy and you have to clean up after putting on your makeup you have to clean up during and after because sometimes they do make a mess i mean even somebody like me who's supposed to be a professional sometimes i'm i'm, I'm throwing out my fit me foundation and the thing just drops all over the place so it doesn't matter who you are if your thing has a big opening there's going to be a mess so I was really, really impressed with the fact that they actually did something different and they did, um, they applied a pump to the Super C foundation. So that was the very first thing that I noticed. In terms of the overall packaging, I mean, it's Maybelline. So, and it's a drugstore brand. So we can't really expect a whole lot when it comes to the packaging. I'm just really glad that this foundation actually has a pump. Now, in terms of the um, consistency of the foundation, it is definitely a full coverage foundation. I mean, she covered up all of my little blemishes that I had because I did have a recent breakout from something I tried from Tatcha. And I think it must have been two or three videos ago. Um, I was doing a tutorial and you guys might have seen all the acne that was on, um, I think it was on this side of my face. Like that Tasha product really broke my face out really bad. So I'm not touching anything from Tasha ever, ever again. So that's the first thing I'm definitely impressed with. Secondly, I have to say I was really, really impressed with the fact that both the coconut and the warm coconut actually match me to a T. I mean, I still actually have the swatches on here. I did not wipe them off at all. And you guys still can't even tell the difference between both of them, both the warm coconut and the coconut, because I did not even remove them. I actually forgot that I had the swatches here. <laughs> so they're still actually here. And it, it actually amazes me to see that there is a product or um, a beauty brand out there that has two different shades of foundation like two completely different numbers and they both match me to a t now i know when i when i first applied the um the foundation it looked really really yellow on camera but in person it really did not look that yellow however i do have golden undertones so whenever i apply my foundation for the very first time it usually comes out really yellow but once it sets once it sets and you know i i apply my powder and my setting spray and everything usually everything just melts together and then you know everything just looks okay but on camera i realized it looked really really yellow but then again you know um i expect that and i love the yellowness in my foundations because um as i said before you know in the fit me foundation i just find that the mocha was really really red and i like my yellowness going on although i'm not a big fan of yellow i'm wearing a yellow shirt people tell me i look good in yellow and the lord gave me golden undertone so what does that mean that i should just accept the color yellow and just be more appreciative of it okay so wrapping up my final thoughts on the maybelline super stay foundation would i recommend it definitely yes although i'm not a big fan of full coverage foundation the foundation itself is really it's, it's really really great and I, I can't be biased and say oh because i don't like it it's not the finish isn't something that i like i can't really say that it's not good it's really really a good foundation the consistency of it it's a lot thicker than the fit me um line so i would definitely say if you have dry skin that you may want to apply um like a facial oil before you apply the um the foundation so if you have dry skin and you're thinking about trying the super stay because it's a full coverage foundation it's, it's going to be a lot thicker and it might be just a little bit tricky to work with by the way let me just give my my thoughts on the um the the maybelline 
uh, face studio sponge as well. Although I'm not a big fan of all these other beauty brands bringing out their sponges, you know, I'm a beauty blender girl. I was not too, you know, I was not too disappointed um, by using this. This actually did a pretty good job. Well, I thought it did a pretty good job in terms of blending out my foundation. Um, it's a lot denser than the beauty blender, but I feel like Maybe if I use it more over time, I might actually gradually grow to like it. Maybe not love it, but I might actually gradually grow to like it. So it's not bad. So if you if you actually want to um, try it, I would definitely say give it a little whirl. Just see how it feels. You know, everybody's different. Everybody's skin is different also, which is why I would recommend, you know, um, looking at my face, you might think that the foundation it, mm, it's not for me because I have oily skin and Donella has oily skin as well and look at what she looks like. Your skin is supposed to sweat so it's okay if you look like this at the end of the day. But as I said before, if you have dry skin, you may actually want to apply a facial oil beneath um, the foundation or before you apply the foundation. All right, ladies and gents, that is it for my final thoughts on the, um, the Maybelline Full Coverage, sorry, it's the Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. I got me is a long and breath <laughs> All right, so if you haven't so appreciated this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more reviews on my channel, if you happen to see a particular product that you've been eyeing for some time and you want me to do a review or demo, a first impressions, please be sure to drop me a comment down in the comment section and please also be sure to click that subscribe button on your way out. Until my next upload, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.